Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. We're here to stand with the Palestinians, with the people in Gaza who are facing the bombs of Israel. We're here to oppose the war crimes that are being committed on indigenous, on stolen land. We are not here to represent any particular community. We are here to represent the humanity because what Israel is doing is against the humanity. Colonization is nothing new for my people. But the scale of the current massacre is genocidal. Anti-Semitism is horrible. Holocaust was horrible. But what Israel is doing is also horrible. The media paints us as the savages in our resistance. Yet it is the Palestinian babies and children being pulled from the rubble of collapsed residential buildings. Thank you so much for coming out to show solidarity with the Palestinian people. And we are here tonight not just to show solidarity with the Palestinian people, but to express our disgust and disappointment with the Australian government for backing this unjust and oppressive regime. We are not talking about two equal combatants in a conflict that is about religion. We are talking about state-sponsored colonization, occupation, racism and war on Palestine. So don't you dare speak to me of savagery. It's the colonizers who invented savagery. If Israel wants peace, Palestinians have tried for decades and decades and decades to get peace. What they were given in return were bombs. Their turned lands taken away, their houses bulldozed. They've been stopped at checkpoints every day. Palestinians want the peace, but Israelis are not giving them what they want, and that is just peace. It's the colonizers who sowed the seeds of violence. Palestinians have no shelter, they have nowhere to hide, and they have nowhere to run because Israel also bombed the crossing into Egypt. Shame. Shame. The hospitals can no longer treat the wounded. They are now, unfortunately, just more. We understand that we need to use our privilege and our position here in the so-called West to stand up against oppression and to speak out and to speak and amplify the voices of those who are being marginalised. This does not stop here. What Israel is about to do and threatening to do is nothing short of genocide. We need to people of Australia and the people of the world, the human beings, to get together and make sure that our politicians take a strong, firm, firm position. We take a firm position and make sure that genocide stops now and Palestine is free. 